Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 57. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. And it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kick off and we should be an epic in here. As it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, for these Kansas City Chiefs, they, of course, were Super Bowl champions three years ago. The win over the Niners in Miami. They fell to the Bucs in Tampa a couple years back. They had the blown lead in the AFC title game against Cincinnati last year. And now they're back making their third trip to the big game in four years. And their recent history only increases the urgency to try and win another Super Bowl title with this group. Meanwhile, it took until Super Bowl 52 for the Eagles to lift the Lombardi Trophy for the first time. And not too many players are left from that squad five years ago. But this new group is looking to write a new chapter of Eagles lore. Yeah, we certainly all remember that performance in the win over New England. Nick Foles throwing for 373 yards, catching the Philly special that will go down as one of the most iconic play calls in Super Bowl history. Now they're back and looking to make it two titles in six years. the 20 but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Philly's offense getting ready and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. And we all heard about it in the offseason. There were many questions asking if Philadelphia might consider bringing in another quarterback to replace Jalen Hurts. He answered emphatically this is my team and he led them to a Super Bowl appearance. A well-deserved moment for this quarterback who just kept his head down, kept working, and eliminated all the noise. To throw at the outset, here's Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Four yards remain for second down. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They're just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. An option handoff given to Sanders. Taken down at the 42. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. 
Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Hurts to throw. This is complete to Watkins on the slant. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Throwing his hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four, four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, but sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. On first and ten, it's Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. And Sanders has got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only Charles in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways, but you're right, they want to run their offense through him. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hurts. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. Sanders is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage. There's the tackle with the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Burt sets up to throw it. And Goddard's got it! Touchdown, Eagles! The three-yard touchdown.
touchdown pass. And the Eagles are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Well, that's just how they do it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that one a 13-play drive in total. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. He can't help but continue to marvel at how well this man's career has gone so far. Now in his fifth season's KC starter, he's never missed a conference title game, and he's taking the field in his third Super Bowl. Simply dominant, it's easy to envision him being one of the top quarterbacks for many years to come. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Jarek McKinnon, his first carry of the ball game. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. He was able to escape momentarily in the backfield, but you could just kind of tell that wasn't going anywhere. You know, in the film session, he'll get a minus for not getting him on the ground by himself. But what the coach is really going to analyze, how fast did his teammates get there to help him? If one guy slows him up, everyone else better be there. And that's what they got on that play. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. These defenses have become so opportunistic, and no matter what you're playing, in this case wide receiver, you got to be careful. I certainly do, because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time, completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do that where the trouble begins, right? Meaning you've tucked it away, you're trying to get downfield, but someone's always coming up trying to rake in the ball and knock it free. First and ten, it's Sanders, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll set up a throw. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. 
And they'll work this down inside the 30. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Down to about the 22 here. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. So Hurts is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. It's a 39-yard attempt, right hash. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. now to throw and incomplete on the deep end. Got me a couple on the outside and my scout report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Mahomes. He's got a man complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 33 yards that time. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And a strong run there 
as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Right back to him on first down. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They go play fake. Mahomes. Ooh, the juke. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 12-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And the stop will come inside the 5 at the 4. That's good. The completion there for 7 yards, and it's second down. Let's do this, man. Mahomes going to throw. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that, that's what's going to go around the league, and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it? And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. To throw, it's Mahomes. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt and their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. Let's go get it out. On first down, Hurts. Man open left side is Brown. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. A give running left, it's Sanders. And they're gonna stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and 10. They'll look to throw. 
It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Five yards, now it's third and five. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. They'll set up to throw. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. That's pulled in at the 32. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll look to throw here. His throw incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Hurts to throw. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards losing yardage to the 11. It'll go as a loss 
on the play. That's what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. On second and goal, Hurts escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it third and goal. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls, or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. A big one here early in this Super Bowl. It's third and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll take us to the end of the first quarter. One quarter done, three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. 10-zip our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the date on the calendar. We circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon God and Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. Going for it with Sanders. And he'll wind up being knocked back to the three-yard line. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And the ball's going to be going back to the Chiefs. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. A carry for the fullback. This is Mike Burton. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. Now that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. Throwing on second and eight, Mahomes over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. 23 yards to pick up there. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Mahomes now on first down. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. Pass on the out route caught by Smith-Schuster. 
And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Catch is made by Hardman. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A big gain of 31 on third down. For an offense that has not found the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. He finds McKinnon complete. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellows, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball, and they're the ones dictating to the defense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. This one from 35 yards away. Butker's kick here is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So the third drives the charm. They are on the board, albeit with just a field goal. Yeah, three points from three drives. That's not going to win you a whole lot of football games. Hopefully the fact they were able to move the ball a little bit can wake up their offense. deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. the eagles just about set to go to work on offense and last time they had it fourth and goal rolled the dice didn't get it now they've got to put that behind him try to put together another drive hey, a simple tip of the cap a nod of the head to the defense congratulations you got us last time but you didn't hold us the whole time we got down to position we were able to be in position to score let's go ahead and attack again continue to have that kind of confidence not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone yeah, this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone we'll see what they do a good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. 
running right. Here's Sanders. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Hurts. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This is third and 16. Throwing his hurts. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Here's Brett Kern now to punt this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. And out come the Chiefs now. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. And yeah, not out now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Mahomes now to throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. Now they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. Still second it's down. real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. Here's Mahomes to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. So eight yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. And out now come the Eagles. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming.
Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a carry for Sanders. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Second and nine. Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And now it's third and four. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Hurts sets up to throw it. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 33. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trade in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. They'll drop the throw. Goes right back to Smith again. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Man up the left side is Brown. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And they run the option here on first and ten. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. But if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with the defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Hurd's going to keep it again. Nifty move, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down, so let's see what this is about. And he's blocking the ball. Offense. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. the middle they go with Sanders and he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line 
A gain of three, second down. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. On second and seven, Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying, we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Elliott now to have the extra point. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. That time, a nine-play drive, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. From the 39, Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. First catch on that one for Kelsey, and it's a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. First down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Hassan Reddick in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. And this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All 
game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Here's Tommy Townsend now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows the punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Jalen Hurts bringing the Eagles out for their next drive. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. 6-6, six six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw 7-on-7, seven seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, the ball never hits the ground there either. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. To throw again on second down. Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard. He's tied in over the middle. Hurts finding Goddard there. First down, Philadelphia. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and 10 at the 19 yard line. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. And once again, this is Sanders. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball, possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Out to his left. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. the sack here second and 11. He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Sanders. It'll go as a gain of four. And now third down and six to go. So a 
it's halftime here on sports grandest stage in the Super Bowl as now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report all right Brandon thanks very much welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports halftime report first though a check of the next gen stats in that first half for Kansas City and they've had all sorts of success thus far tonight throwing the football as they're on pace to throw for 300 plus yards if things continue the way they've been going meanwhile for the Eagles they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half all right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But if there's ever a chance to regroup, it's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That was the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. And the first play of the drive goes to McKenna. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first down, Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. now on first down. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. 
Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Screenplay, McKenna. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves to James. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. From the 17, Mahomes. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They go draw play to McKinnon. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down the four-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs have cut it back within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And it's up through the goal post. It's 17-10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. 
and because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. With all the success they've had throwing the football as a pass rusher, you know you've got to come hard when you see him drop back the throw. So I really like this call to counteract that pass rush with a screen. It turns into positive yardage. A lot of times the offense says, just replace the rusher with the ball, and it turns into a good play. Hurts. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. A little jet sweep to start the drive. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense, it's really kind of geared to stop that play. Your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. From the 35 on second down, Mahomes. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. He's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice game, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Able to find Gray here. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Mahomes now to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Second down, McKinnon. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He's got his man. That's Hardman. 
And he will have a Chiefs first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. First and ten, here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes looking middle. That's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. Flushed out right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, Oftentimes, interceptions result. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 20. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to try the tackle him. And he's going to be knocked out of bounds all the way down at the 40-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing his hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he goes down at the 26. A pickup of 13, and that last play began at the 13. First down. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. 
In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Hurt sets up to throw it. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Scrimmage the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they've got this down to about the 12 yard line. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Second down and seven. He'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. And that's a great job of tackling right there. If he could have made the first man miss, maybe he could have taken it into the end zone. Instead, they stopped him pretty well right in his tracks. And you often see that in the red zone. Offense has to be quick. In this case, the defense was quicker. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. They'll look to throw again. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Elliott is good. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown of this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Third quarter action in Super Bowl 57. Here's a second and ten. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. 
They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mahomes going to throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he will have the Chiefs first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here at Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi Trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? On second down and four, Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Now here's Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 37 yards. It's not often that you'll find offensive and defensive guys that'll agree on much, but one place they find common ground, you've got to protect or attack the middle of the field. And no one was there. What a big play moving it downfield. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's a give up the middle. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 40 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw, it's Mahomes. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. 
Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two score games, second half, you're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Man, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Juju Smith-Schuster on a touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. The partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big-time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and work their way into the end zone. An extra point by Butker is on target. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Let's take it in at the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game. Fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And now third down and six to go. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. The Eagles on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This will be third and six. Hurts. And the Chiefs are going to get him. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time, they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time, it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Here's Brent Kern now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And here's the 
there's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. Kansas City starting a drive, hoping to utilize the speed of that man, McCole Hardman. Let's see here, Charles. Six catches, over 100 yards. Call that a pretty good day at the office. And I love the accumulation. The catches, the yardage. That means he's having a pretty good impact on this ball game and really helping his team out in a big way. Means he wants the football again, right? And it's funny because some of these receivers are very vocal about how much they're getting it. Others are quieter, but they still let you know, give me the ball, I'm going to make a play. Mahomes now on first down. Under pressure, and down he goes. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Soon this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting. can keep his cool back there not just for himself but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too they go play fake Mahomes finds his man it's Kelsey on the crossing route here and they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Good work after the catch. Going to net them 23 and a first. Every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. They fake the give, now Mahomes. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Now Mahomes. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Hold on. Off it. Orlando Brown, the former Raven, the guilty party. Still second down. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Throwing now is Mahomes. A dump down to McKenna. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. 
Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 20-yard line. Two big plays in succession, and Kansas City's on the move. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Chiefs have regained the lead in the second half of the Super Bowl. There it is, partner. You see it. Four fingers. What does that mean? Fingers. That, four, that signifies the fourth quarter's here. That's right. Who's going to dominate? Usually both teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter, what we found out so far. Two touchdowns in here, and now they've taken the lead. Yeah, second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other sideline, though? It seems like they've tensed up, had that lead. They were playing not to lose it, and they've lost it. That's a great observation. When you play not to lose, you usually don't win. Now, though, they'll have the opportunity to respond. For the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. And yeah, we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. Sets up to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call it, not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is that right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. But first down, it hurts. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. 
Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. On second down, here's the option. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. He had the option there, decided to keep it, exposed himself and fumbled it. Yeah, and you worry about the hits he's going to take in that situation. In this case, not only does he take the hit, he coughs the ball up, as you noted. Kansas City and Juju Smith-Schuster running out for another series. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Now a dump off here complete, and he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Mahomes to throw on third and one. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down when his way it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted him or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Well, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. That's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Mahomes going to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. So a big one coming now for Harrison Butker. This will get the lead up to seven. Butker's kick here is good, and that'll make this a seven-point game. From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game.
After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down 27-20. A minute 52 to play. And they have to have a touchdown to level this Super Bowl as they come up on first down. Allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd. See if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. He's back to throw. Pass complete. Got it. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. He'll look to throw. But he's got his man. It's the tight end Goddard. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another game like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. First down now, but that clock rolling. They'll look to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. And yeah, see if he can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field. The Eagles hustling to the line. Clock rolling. Back to throw. And yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You're having to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Hurts. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. decision to make on the conversion down seven but first things first they need to score as they come up on first and goal here's Hurts to throw and his ball is caught it's a touchdown and now in the final seconds they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime and while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown they're still down one that extra point is not a gimme Now 
still down one. Here's an utterly critical extra point attempt here. And it is good. There were about 70,000 people about to turn blue from holding their breaths. But it's good, and this Super Bowl is tied. Far. 27 apiece is our score as the kicks away. From a yard or two deep, here comes the return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled into 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And partner, you and I both know the save calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dime. couldn't decide it and it'll be the Chiefs who get the football first in this overtime session taking it about the run and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line now the Chiefs offense they get ready to head on the field and CD we get to see the debut of the brand new postseason overtime rules now as everybody is learning both teams are going to be guaranteed an offensive possession so they might get the ball first here, but a touchdown does not right away win the game. And we saw many marker games along the way that sparked a lot of conversation. But the Buffalo-Kansas City game in the 2022 playoffs, that really brought about this rule change. What an amazing game, a true classic. Ended in overtime, got Buffalo getting a shot with the football, and the people didn't like that at all. So starting this season, if you make the playoffs, You'll get a chance to answer if the other team scores first. And that way, you get a chance to keep a great game as well as your hopes alive as you chase the big prize. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 64 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. A nice start for them here to overtime. And, and maybe the plan here is don't do anything too crazy. Don't try for some big play, Charles. Just move the chains, put the pressure on the defense. Well, these early first downs are certainly nice confidence builders as they begin overtime because even though you've just played four quarters, the feeling's entirely different when you take the field in OT because you just want to settle in, as you suggested, Keep the ball moving and rely on your opponent to make that first big mistake. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's McKinnon on the draw. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Third and four. 
It's third and four. Big play here, trying to keep this opening drive of overtime alive. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Well, I know you're toward the middle of the field here, but still, fourth down this distance. You've got to punt it right. That's definitely the first instinct because you say, okay, let's just play some field position, make sure we don't lose the game here, turn it over in a key spot. But if you feel really good about your trigger guy, if you feel great about him, you might want to leave the ball in his hands and let him work his magic. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. That last defensive stand, and that is the defensive stand of the season. I mean, you get it on this stage in overtime of the Super Bowl, and now you've set your offense up here, Charles. All they need is a field goal and their world champs. Agreed, partner. And if I'm calling plays on offense right now, I'm looking at my play sheet, and I'm looking for what plays give the ball to my best players right now. How do they touch it? And who do I trust with the football in this situation? Big time trophy on the line, championship on the line. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. All they need is a field goal. Any kind of score here on this second drive would be a game winner. It's first and ten. Here's the option. Running right. And he's into the end zone. Move over, James Wright. You've got a new rival for best finish to a Super Bowl ever. Well, you never know what you're going to expect when you come to the stadium to call a game. Sometimes you get good ones, sometimes you get bad ones, sometimes you get great ones. And that's what we had here. What an exciting finish on that last big play. And I think that as we look at it, when you're talking about a great finish, which went along with a game that obviously was dramatic because we did get into overtime, what type of play calls do you have left? What have you not shown? Or what have you made an adjustment to what you've worked on all the way through? It's going to give you the play we saw to win the game. But I know everyone's thinking that that was something that they just drew up. It might have been something they've been working on, and now they got the right matchup. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.